In today's video, as we move forward with 2024, I would like to discuss crafting your vision for the year ahead. Your vision is your intention to actualize aspects of yourself in one or a few, or ideally, all areas of your life, spiritual, intellectual, physical, family, financial, social, career, or business. Your vision also purifies your mind from all that is inauthentic to manifest your authentic self as stated in Proverbs 29, 18, where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. So I'd like to first start off by thanking you for this wonderful opportunity. I get to enjoy making these videos every single week, three videos a week. I started making these videos in 2013. And in 2019, I set an intention, a vision to do this exclusively. And now I get to do this and enjoy this experience each and every day with you. This is the power of crafting a vision. Now I see the student and teacher as one, as I also value the journey and destination and see them as one, like we discussed in Tuesday's video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link in the description to it. And by that, I mean, we are both students and teachers to each other. I've learned so much from everyone who I've met from this channel. And I've also been told that what I teach has been very helpful from the many comments, the emails, the DMs, and also working one-on-one -on -one with some of you. So based on all I have learned and all that I've taught over the years, I believe it is key to have a vision, a definite major purpose in life. Your vision serves as a compass to actualize self, to experience deeper meaning, purpose, and direction in life during each moment of each day. The vision can also be harmoniously related to other areas of your life, such as intellectual, spiritual, physical, family, financial, social, career, or business. And the way I teach setting a vision is to ensure that all these areas are considered and integrated. And you can create your own categories if you'd like. The intention here is to value all areas of your life that are important to you, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. And when it comes to these aspects of life, one does not need absolute clarity on these areas to get started. We find that further clarity arises in these areas on the journey to actualizing a vision. Now let's talk about desire. Neville Goddard once said, all transformation begins with an intense burning desire to be transformed. The first step in the renewing of the mind is desire. You must want to be different and intend to be before you can begin to change yourself. Then you must make your future dream a present fact. So I like to echo the Steve Jobs quote from his commencement speech when it comes to crafting a vision, which is, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. So when crafting a vision for 2024, listen to the desires of your heart. Listen to yourself. Trust yourself. You get to decide what you would like your life to be as. Now let's talk about crafting your vision. Here we have the Robert Dill's logical levels. I also modified it a bit and put a big eye on the top. That eye represents your individual formless self, the you that gets to choose what you would like your life to be as. This is the eye beyond condition, the individual sense of self that is actually one with all and thus already has all in imagination, metaphysically speaking. And so you get to choose by desire from what you already have to physically experience in life. And this is where crafting a vision comes in. So on the top of this Dill's pyramid, we have vision, which we are crafting here today. This serves as a compass for the following layers. Then we have identity. This is your personal identity. The true identity is beyond this personal identity. The true identity is this eye on the top, which is one with all. The personal identity here is made up of beliefs about yourself and your world and your relationship with everything. Then we have values and beliefs which spawn from this identity to get even more granular, to reveal your current and encourage your ideal values and beliefs related to your vision, to bring the identity into congruence with the vision. The same is to be said about capabilities, which are skills, and then we have behaviors and environments. I made a few videos describing this in detail. I'll link in the description to them. So when looking at this model here for the purpose of crafting a vision, consider the following. The moment one commits to a vision, everything below here 
appears to change from that moment onwards, even if it might not appear physically apparent. This is the power of a vision, a definite major purpose. You can call it definite major intention if you'd like, or major intention. The identity begins to change. How we see ourselves, how we see ourselves in relationship with others, how we see ourselves in relationship with environment, circumstance, information changes. And thus life experiences change to match in a flow-based way, to be in congruence with the vision, provided that you allow it to happen and not resist the changes. And to not resist the changes, but rather embody physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually the identity that is one with the vision, one remains on course by allowing their attention to remain on what is ideally related to their vision. So this model can serve as an inspiration for crafting your vision and also as a guide for actualizing your vision. So now let's talk about crafting our vision. First, we dedicate some time to reflect on what it can be. It could be a business goal, income goal, big project like building a custom home or changing your lifestyle, whatever you'd like. So to help with clarity up to a certain degree, as mentioned earlier, clarity automatically arises further on the course to actualizing a vision. Something that has been really helpful for me, and if you're a student of my subconscious mind program, you know, I put emphasis on this, is to integrate my vision with different areas of my life. The way I like to do it is to note desired outcomes for career, business, spiritual, financial, social, family, intellectual, and physical. So I can craft a vision, relate them all to my vision, and relate all of these to each other. This affirms and impresses congruence and consistency on the subconscious mind. For example, I may note, social skills contribute to better family relationships and also sales, direct response marketing, and consultative selling skills, vice versa. Note as many as you'd like, this brings forth clarity, congruence, and also deep meaning and purpose in life on the journey to actualizing your vision. And when a person lives in congruence in all areas of their life, in relationship with their vision, it is easy, automatic, and natural for them to maintain a flow-based journey to actualizing their vision. So here are some ideas to keep into consideration for your vision in 2024. Career business. Perhaps there are certain expertise you wish to acquire. It could be expanding your business or also advancing in your career or changing your career. And then we have spiritual. What I'd like to emphasize is that spirituality is an individualized relationship. And although it may be shared with others, you may have your own distinct views and path, and that's fine. After all, the all is infinite. So here you may include practices like meditation or the seven stages of the spiritual alchemy process, which we discussed a lot. I'll link to a few videos in the description to discuss, or whatever you'd like. For me, it is primarily the practice as discussed in last Sunday's Neville Goddard video, which is to imagine others lovingly and thus mediate God to them. It can also be building a deeper relationship with your faith community, volunteering, enjoying moments in solitude, or connecting with nature. Now, as we go through this, we are reflecting upon these categories to observe what inspiration arises and you may note it down to assist in crafting your vision. And then we have financial. So I'd like to further segment it into three areas. Number one is the ability to earn more, increasing your monthly or annual income. Number two, enjoying a wonderful lifestyle, which includes saving each month for number three, which is investing for the long term. Then we have family, improving your relationship with family, doing more things with family, etc. Then we have intellectual. This could be certain programs, books, etc. to expand your knowledge and understanding on certain subjects. Then we have social. This could be dating life, friendships, cultivating existing relationships, meeting new people, attending more gatherings or events. Then we have physical, which can be your fitness or health. Maybe there's certain sports you'd like to take up. So now that we've noted these areas down, Craft your vision to include valuing all these and also consider the following. When I set a vision, I like to include that it is self-realizing, as in remembering that you exist beyond beliefs. This purifies the mind to allow your attention to automatically remain on what is related to your vision. Also, as part of self-realization, is understanding the true nature of self, which is love, 
happiness, bliss, peace, and fulfillment. And also, self-actualizing, to experience the true nature of self in and as the outer expressions of life, which again is why we craft our vision, to value all three of these equally. Again, Proverbs 29, 18, where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. And so here are three ways we can draw connections from our notes to craft a transformative vision for 2024. Number one is to take these seven areas and weave them all into one. You could choose one of these areas, you could choose a few of these areas, or you could choose all of them, whatever you'd like. Then create a statement or paragraph that implies fulfillment. It could be something like, I have a lavish, steady, dependable income consistent with integrity and mutual benefit. Or I earn X amount of dollars a month doing what I love to do. You can, if you'd like, create a vision board with a collage of different images that imply you have achieved the vision. I've done this before and it works perfectly to impress the subconscious mind. You can also write, I have a wonderful business with plenty of free time to enjoy a wonderful social life, family life, wonderful lifestyle, while saving and investing generously and enjoying peace and solitude in nature. The key is creating a vision to impress the subconscious mind of already being that in imagination. Number two, you could do a vision card like I do. It can say, I have in my possession, and you can put the dollar amount. My personal life is, and you can describe your personal life. My mental diet is on point. My health and fitness is, and you can define it. You can even add the statement, which I've been adding for many years on my card. All of this appears as I remain in my flow. Or number three, you could keep it even more simple. Isn't it wonderful? Which is to commit to living a life of flow, bliss, and ecstasy, and includes all the things you noted and more related to the seven categories. For more on Isn't It Wonderful, watch the video from last Sunday. I'll link to it in the description. So in summary, allow your desires to stimulate your vision. Be what and how you truly desire to be as. Look within to understand the nature of your desires and allow them to inspire your vision in 2024 so you can live experientially a wonderful life and allow 2024 to be your best year yet. So I trust you found this video to be helpful. Let's go ahead and conclude this with an auto suggestion to further encourage. You could say, I acknowledge that from my vision, I manifest my authentic self. By desire, I see in my imagination who I already am ideally, in which I allow that to manifest in all areas of my life, which include intellectual, spiritual, physical, family, financial, social, and business in an effortless, fun, blissful, flow-based way. If you would like a copy of this mind map, the link is in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll talk with you soon. Take care.